opportunity knocks, does it not, with the likes of Carl <laughs> Walker, John Stones, Akanji, maybe Edison, all out? Mm. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal have got a, a, a few concerns themselves, but that's kind of unusual for Man City. I've said it many times that they get so few injuries this season. Right now, they've got quite a few, so it is. And, I mean, we're all looking forward to tomorrow. Um, it, can they seize the moment? I, I feel like Arsenal are almost there. You know, if we look quickly look ahead into the next few seasons, Jurgen Klopp's leaving Liverpool. Pep's not going to go on forever. Arsenal have got good young players, a young manager. It's his first job, Mikel Arteta. It feels like they could be the club going forward. Now, are they ready now? Are they ready to do that now? That's the fascinating part. And I just hope in tomorrow's game that Arsenal trust themselves, trust their game. They deserve to be there. They deserve to be top of this league table. And they can play football as good as Man City. Take the game to City. I'd love to see that because it could be such a seismic moment in their I guess, the next few seasons for them. Well, Tim, that will be a big decision for mm -hmm. Mikel Arteta tomorrow. How does he approach this game? Does he go for it? I think he does go for it. And, and I'm not a firm believer in, like, one singular moment making seasons. But football is unfair. And the fact of the matter is we know last year they fell off the pace. This is going to be that singular moment. If they win the game, they'll have exercised all those demons. And if they lose the game, it's going to be same old Arsenal again. Can't overcome, you know, the giant that is Manchester City. So, I think he'll go for it. M Mikel Arteta is a brilliant manager. He's smart. He's clever. He's got... It, the fascinating thing is it, him and Pep are going to be in a hotel tonight thinking, what's he doing? What's <laughs> yeah. he doing? So, they're going to be out thinking each other and out tinkering each other. So, uh, I, ultimately, I think Mikel Arteta knows he has to go for it. And, and I think Arsenal will. Do you think this will go all the way to the final day oh, of the I season, so. May 19th? I, I hope if so. so, why do you think it well, will? Well, because th all three sides really believe that they can do it this year you know for different reasons you know expected to be there man city arsenal i guess probably hoped to be there and and with liverpool's jürgen klopp emotional pull probably didn't expect to be there rebecca so they're going to be fired up to go as well what we've seen so far the numbers of what they're telling us right now they're so evenly matched and i can make a strong argument we haven't got time now yeah. for every single team to win the premier league title so i hope it does and i think it will go to the end who are you still going for i'm still going for manchester city okay Tim, you think it's going to go to the last day? I, I do. I, I think because when you look at Villa, Tottenham, Man United, they are th these are strong teams that are, all are going to have a, a say in the title because they, they play so many of the, the top three. Um, ultimately, when I look at Arsenal, I think they have the best defensive record. Um, they're smashing goals in. And I think the, easy, the easiest run in is probably Man City, but I do quite like Arsenal, so I'm sticking with them. Yeah, because Arsenal have still got the North London derby and they've got Manchester Champions United League as well. and the Champions League, where, of course, Just... the two of them could meet if they both get through oh, Real Madrid okay. and Bayern Munich yeah. as well. That's another thing for the semi-finals. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.